Good morning, Karen with VintageDazzle.etsy.com here with my reseller vlog and uh, I'm here to show you the good, the bad, and sometimes the ugly of reselling life. At least my reselling life. Mine's probably not much like anybody else's. But anyway, it is flea market day and I am here at the flea market. I'm walking through the parking lot takes a little while to get to the entrance and then there's always a line and I should have been here half an hour ago <sighs> but anyway um, I have had a lot of people ask me to take you flea marketing with me so I'm gonna try to do that today I had to stop and look at this because <laughs> these are those things that my friend collects that she gave me a bunch of these boxes the empty boxes that's one of the things one of the things she collects but really I wanted to look at this that's really cool looking Sorry, Mike. Really like that little Chinese cabinet there. It's an interesting plate. Uh, I don't know what that is, but I'll have to check it out. Take a quick video of all your stuff. Show on YouTube. So this is my favorite jewelry jewelry dealer, Alex. And he always has these special things for me. Good morning. <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing okay. Here's Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Come can't on by. <laughs> where you get a free drink for free. That's right. He always gives me a free <laughs> bottle of water. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you are Hector. 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 That's right. Okay. Okay. Well, I just pulled the trigger on two hundred and ten dollars with Alex. But uh, we'll see if, uh, if I can make a profit. I'm, I'm trying to up my game a little bit, buy some little higher end pieces. So uh, we'll see. Oops, I thought these little Chinese guys were kind of interesting. Let me know if you're interested. <laughs> neat piece. Hmm, looks pretty. <laughs> Just bright today. Oh, it is bright today. What are you filming? I am. <laughs> You're filming on my jump. Cause I, I, I've had requests for people to come come flea marketing with me on my video, so that's what I'm doing. You wanna say hi? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so this guy always has cool stuff. And he always gives me a hard time. <laughs> but this fish is pretty cool. I like the fish. And of course, this is not vintage. This is someone's artistry. But it's so amazing. I just have to take some pictures of it. Isn't that the coolest? It's made with driftwood, driftwood and live succulents. For you Pyrex lovers, here's some Pyrex and some Franciscan, a little bit of glass. Um, I stopped because I used to have that plate only I had it in white. Well, I have spent all of my money so I am on my way home, and in just a minute, I'm going to show you the back of my car. I have never completely filled up my cart and spent all my money before. Well, hardly ever. So, uh, yeah, and then I think I'm going to do a little uh, haul video after this, uh, show you what I bought. <sighs> on my way to the car. It's a long walk. 
it's hot. I can't believe how hot it is today. It's been so cold and now suddenly today it is really hot. But that's California. All right, I am home from the flea market. I didn't show you the back of my car because I decided it was just a pile of bags. It wasn't really that interesting. But I will show you my lunch. Yum. Actually, I've already had half of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I had that as a snack at about 11 o'clock at the flea market because I got really hungry. So anyway, um, I'm going to be back soon with a haul video. Hello, I am back with a haul. I will show you what I actually bought at the flea market. And uh, unlike most of my haul videos, this one you'll see very shortly after I actually made the haul. I'm not going to put a delay on this one. This one will jump ahead in the queue. Um, so uh, I spent almost $500, which is crazy insane. Um, but I, I just kept finding stuff I wanted. So <sighs> let me just get started. Oops. Okay. Let me just get started and I'll show you show you what I got. And this is this is the real culprit. This is what I spent the big money on. Um, this is Mexican silver. It is a mid-century, probably 1950s modernist piece. And it is signed by La Cucaracha, which is a very well-known Tosco jewelry silversmith and it's just gorgeous it's very very heavy and I have the earrings they are screw back earrings that go with and I paid about a hundred dollars for both pieces together and um, I'm gonna ask probably around 200. I'm not sure yet, but probably around 200. And then this is a culprit also. This is another lovely modernist sterling silver. All right, where's the top of it? Sterling silver bracelet or necklace. This is probably also 1950s. And this is signed by Danecraft. And it's just it's also very heavy, very nice, just lovely. And I paid um, $30 for that one. Uh, let's see. This is another one that I paid up on. This is Mexican sterling silver Tosco. It, it's marked. It has the eagle mark and, it, and the sterling and Tosco and all that, but it does not have the makers mark on it but it's a gorgeous modernist piece and it's very very heavy and uh, I paid thirty dollars for that also and then I think I think I paid about twenty for this one this is a, a can of teal sterling silver bracelet it's in just spectacular condition it looks like probably nobody ever wore it and I think it's a nicer older one it doesn't have any marks on it so, yeah. really pretty. And then some other miscellaneous silver pieces. This is a little heart-shaped amethyst and marcasite and onyx ring. I'm not really sure how old. I don't think this is a super old piece, but that was 10. Then I got, um, this is an 800 silver oops, cameo. It is hand carved. It's, um, um, I would say, you know, it's not crudely carved. It's not super, super detailed, but it's pretty nice. I mean, obviously whoever did it has a lot more talent than I do. I don't think I could ever do that. Uh, but it is 800 silver, which is nice. That's, um, probably European, older, uh, $10, did I tell you that? And then, this is a turquoise bead necklace. This, I just found this interesting. It's not even that old because it has a, a more modern lobster clasp on it. Well, somebody could have replaced the clasp, you never know. 
because the rest of the necklace looks kind of old. It's round turquoise beads. It's a knotted, like a silk, with these little other little beads. I think they're little silver beads. Uh, the clasp is sterling silver. It is signed. Right there is the signature. It says KC, I think. No idea. My guy didn't know what it was. But anyway, I paid $10 for it. And then the last piece I bought from my guy Alex was this gold washed sterling silver key brooch. And this is by um, uh, Towel Silver. T O W L E. I'm thinking they do like maybe flatware and hollowware and stuff like that. So I, I don't know that I've ever seen a piece of jewelry from them. So that's kind of cool. And that I paid about $5 for that. So I think it all worked out. I paid, those were the individual prices, and then he bundled them and gave me a little bit of a saving. So what I actually paid was a little bit less than that. And then this was probably, <clears throat> excuse me, my favorite piece of the whole day. This is a, and I think this is probably Victorian. It's antique. Anyway, it is old. And it's, I thought at first, when I saw it from a distance, I thought, oh, reverse car blue sight. No, this is glass, and, the, and it's, the flowers are in the glass. So it's probably Italian, probably Venetian. Uh, fat, it's like, kind of has a purple tint to it, faceted, and it's in this gorgeous ornate sterling silver setting. Now, it is damaged. It has a pretty sizable chip on this corner and a smaller one up here. But you know what? I just don't care. I, the, the bale has like probably two little amethysts in it. And um, this is a not a good chain. I'm going to put it on a silver chain. This is just, I don't know, it's probably, it's a good quality, probably silver or um, gold plated chain, but it's not the right chain for this. This needs a silver chain. Anyway, I paid 15 for that, so I don't know. With that damage, I don't know. If I can't sell it, I'll wear it, though. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. And I got this sterling silver and quartz pendant. This uh, looks like it very well could be Native American. It just says 95 on the back, so, uh, but it is handmade, you can tell, and uh, I like the design of it. That was $8, and I got two Brutalist cuff bracelets, and this was, it was in a big bin of some, a lot of interesting handmade pieces, and the lady who sold these to me said that all the pieces had been made by a friend of hers and he sold them at Woodstock. I guess you could take that story with a grain of salt. She sounded sincere. I think she was telling me the truth. But these were $5 a piece. I would have bought the, at least one of the belt buckles. They were really interesting, but they were a lot more expensive than these cool bracelets. So I got those. I've uh, got this brooch, and this is, is it Monet? Yes, this is a Monet piece, not a really old one, but it's in super nice condition. And that was $3. This one also, oops, come on. This one was $3. And this one is marked Venue. V-E-N-U-E, -E, USA. I'm not familiar. I haven't looked it up or anything. But $3 can't really go too long. And then this, I thought was just adorable. little locket brooch. And it is, I don't believe it's marked at all. But... No, I had to have it because... Oh, now I can't get it open. 
happen. There we go. Because it says love from Karen. <laughs> so, you know, I don't think this is an antique or anything, but it is an antique style, and it's just very cute. And it's in very good condition. That was also $3. I got this Damascene bracelet. Very interesting. Looks like kind of overlapping coins. I've never seen one quite like this before, and it's very heavy. And that was $10. It's completely unmarked. It's I think that it's Spanish, but it's not it's not marked, which is kind of unusual. And the same with this one. I paid $10 for this one also. Really, really nice quality. The little plates are prong set. Um, yeah. And then I paid, oof, I paid 15 for these. It may have been a little much, but these are these, the Chinese blue and white hand-painted beads. It's got a nice uh, old ornate clasp. Yeah. Uh, I know that I've sold these before, and I'm pretty sure I did well on them, so uh, we'll see. And this, <laughs> so sweet. See how it matches my necklace? The guy, I was buying some other things from him, and he was like, oh, say, I've got a bracelet that just matches your necklace. And I was like, oh, it sure does. And, it, you know, it's a stretchy bracelet, and I wasn't going to offer for it. But he says, just take it. It matches. So I was like, okay. So I thought <laughs> that was really nice of him. Okay, we're almost done with the jewelry. I got, let's see, this is Weiss. I love, most of the whites you see is clear. I love the hot pink. Really nice. And old mark. So that's probably 1950s. Uh, that was, did I say $10? And then this is uh, Kenneth J. Lane for Avon Dragonfly. Just the back of it. It's in very, very nice condition. Enamel and rhinestones. And that was also $10 kind of paid up on this stuff. Sometimes I get carried away. And uh, this is a, um, what is this, Napier. In fact, this looks very similar to a piece that Angie showed on her channel, except hers was like a, a Roman guy on hers, but it was no, maybe it wasn't that similar. Maybe it was a brooch or something. But it was green glass. What can I say? Uh, this has just got like a flower design. But again, it's just in such super clean condition. And that was also $10. And then I got this whole set of lucite jewelry. Like confetti lucite that I just... Even though it's not marked, I couldn't walk away from it. Look how crazy looking that is. Isn't that fun? So there's a necklace. And there's a bracelet. I just love that color. It's really unusual. And then there's a set of clip-on earrings. And finally, a brooch. The brooch has, in fact, I think a couple of the pieces have a bit of wear on them. This brooch especially does. But um, so all four of those pieces were twenty dollars. I do believe that is it for the jewelry. But the show's not over. I got a lot of other stuff. I'll show you this first. This is uh, the guy who gave me that bracelet. Also sold me this jewelry box, which I've had this exact one before. It's um, there's something in there. Uh, Borghese. Princess Marcella Borghese is the brand of this jewelry box. And... If 
you happen to recognize the song, let me know. I, sounds familiar to me. That's the part that sounds familiar to me. Da -da 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 anyway, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So I got this set of four copper. Uh, these are like egg whisking bowls. With the, each of them has one loop, and they're rounded on the inside. I understand that chefs really like their copper egg whisking bowls. Um, now these are, two of them are... Uh, made in India, which is not as desirable, but, you know, they're very nice. They're solid copper. Um, this one, I think, is, uh, let's see, this one. This one just says solid copper. Other than that, it's not marked with any country of origin. And the other one, I think, is completely unmarked. But anyway, I got four copper bowls for $10. Kind of can't go wrong with that. I got this little carved bamboo box. Very folk arty, primitive thing. And it's it's signed, I think. That's probably the maker's signature. It's got these little cross and sword symbols, or cro I don't know what that is. Um, but they look like those other carvings that I had from Papua New Guinea, so it might be from there. Anyway, it was five dollars. Got a very nice old Mexican pottery bowl, and that was eight dollars. It's got that crack. Uh, might have a repaired ship there. No, no, it's not. Never mind. It just has that nice older look to it. Um, you can tell the older pieces because the clay is not as smooth. It's, it has like little inclusions in it. So, very pretty. Um, eight, $8, I think I told you I paid for that. Oh, God, let's get the elephant out of the room. <laughs> yes, I keep telling myself I'm not going to buy these gigantic things because they're so hard to ship, but... Who could resist this fish? Is he not adorable? He was um, $15. And there's the back of him. It's not too terribly old because one of the screws in his hanger is a Phillips head. And it has a sticker on the back that says Coronado, California, and a nine-digit telephone number. So I mean, that could have been added later. Uh-oh. Excuse me. So sorry. But, isn't he adorable? $15. I thought that was not too bad. What do I put in? It's huge. Not perfect. Got a couple of cracks, but... Uh, I got this electric baby bin that's pink. I never saw one in pink before. I paid $10 for him. It's probably way too much. Uh, the guy said he was pretty sure it would work. Uh, the plug is kind of... <laughs> the plug does not look great. I don't know that I would... I'm probably not going to plug this in. Looks a little scary. Ugh. But anyway, um, I think the clock itself will clean up. I don't know. Maybe I'll get my electrician guy to rewire it or something. Anyway... I paid too much for that. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is, I think, a pewter flask. It's got, oh yeah, it's, it does have some marks on it. It says, uh, English pewter, Kamoys, Kamoys, something made in Sheffield, England, six ounce. That's, I'm guessing, 1930s to 1940s. Has kind of an Art Deco look. Space for a monogram. Opens right up. And that was also ten dollars. And a tiny little emoji box. Oops. A little flower.
flower on the inside. It says, um, just painted by hand, Limoges, France. Five dollars. This box I just had to have, even though it's so old and decrepit. <laughs> it's a little, a little old, probably steel, I guess, given all the rust. What a mess. But I don't know. Something about it just really appealed to me. It used to have something at the center there. Let's see. I'm going to try to find something appropriate to put in there. I'll clean it up. And then it has a mark on the bottom, but it's so rusted, I can't really tell what it says. It looks like maybe it has two marks on the bottom. But so far I haven't been able to read it. I'll try cleaning it up and see what happens. I paid five dollars for that. Oh my god, I must be insane. And this, I just had to have. This is a Bobbit bait box. And the way it works is, see you have these things, you attach it to your belt, and then, oh, wait a minute, okay, sorry, I had it upside down, and then, and then it goes like this, and you open it, and oh, there's your worm, and I love that it says, just half a turn, and there's your worm, manufactured by Walter S. Cole, Beaver, Wisconsin. Now that, I have never seen before, had to have it, $8.00. Uh, got some. Uh, let me tell you, this was fun to carry around in my cart all day long. I have four of these. These are some cast iron bits from a fence or a column or something. It's really pretty. It's oak and acorn. And I got four of them. There's two big ones and two that are a little bit smaller. And I got all four of them for $15. I think the architectural salvage stuff does pretty well. Not that much fun, but I can put it in a flat rate box, in one of those medium, I think. And there's not much danger it'll break. I just have to, you know, pat it enough that it won't poke out of the box. Uh, let's see. What am I forgetting? Oh, okay. Uh, I got... Some Chinese boxes. I paid ten bucks a piece for these, and I got three of them. I've always done well with these. They're like so. This one's a little bit beat up. Um, I think they're sandalwood. I got a, I got a small one. And then two larger ones. This one is missing its hasp. Oh, it's pretty inside. Oh my goodness, it smells great. There's what the inside looks like. Oh, I love the smell. Nothing on the bottom. Usually they say Hong Kong or something like that. Somewhere on them. Here's the third one. I think this is probably the nicest one. Oops. <laughs> and it's got stuff inside. Guess what it's got inside? Box. So I have one, two, a oh, lot, and that one even has a key. This one has a key. Uh, more locks than boxes. So I can keep those on hand, I guess. Except that if they don't have a key, I won't be able to open them. Ah! But anyway, this is cool. I don't know that I've ever seen one with a key before. It's got some engraving on it. This one's <laughs> this one's locked and won't come unlocked. Okay. Well, anyway.
Oh, let's see. Oh, wait, one more item. Here's the box. It is Drott, D-R-O-T-T. This is a silver-plated olive picker. <laughs> it looks like a robotic arm. And it has it's enameled on the end. And then just under here it says made in Sweden and it has some like little hallmarks, but it's silver plated. And obviously it is tarnished completely black. Uh, I have sold these before. I think this is the third one that I had. One of them had the most gorgeous enameling on it. The first one. I didn't know what I had. But anyway, that was eight dollars. Don't know what I can sell it for. Uh, let's see, there's something I forgot to show you. I forgot to show you this. Uh, nice piece of glass. It is signed, it is dated. Uh, where'd it go? It says Mingo 1993 Twilight Twist. So it even has a name. Now, looking at it now, at first I thought, oh, you know, cute, like it's a little vase. You could put a little flower in there and use it as, like a paperweight. But now I'm looking at it and thinking, oh crap, I bet it was a bottle. I bet it had a stopper in it. So, um, it's still a really pretty piece of glass. And I paid $5, so that's not so bad. So, um, maybe, you know, when I photograph it, I can put a little flower in there and show, look, you can use this as a vase. <laughs> okay, so uh, that is it for my haul video. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, again, if you want to these items probably aren't going to be up for a little while, but eventually they will be. And if there's something you're interested in in particular, I can list it faster. And um, all of my links and things are in the description to my eBay and my Etsy. And there's email addresses and all kinds of stuff. So, all right. I will see you again soon. Bye.